Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast from the congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us. Today's devotional is called This Little Light of Mine, and it was written by Jim Stovall and read by me, Leslie Ragland. Our scripture today comes from Luke chapter 8, verses 16 through 18. It reads, No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given, and from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. This passage begins with an obvious truth, a truth so obvious that it seems almost ridiculous. No one, Jesus says, lights a lamp and then puts it under a jar or hides it away. The purpose of the lamp is to bring light to whatever is around it. Why would Jesus deliver up such a mundane thought? Because, I think, that's what we do almost every day of our lives. We have a light that God gives us. We know what it means to shine God's love and compassion and grace so that others may see it. Yet because of our mood, because of our circumstances, or maybe just because we feel like this is how we have to face the world, we hide our light away. We put on a different face to the world, and that face does not shine with the love of God. We justify this by saying, well, that's what we have to do to survive. But Jesus, in this passage, tells us something very different. By hiding our light, ultimately we will not survive. When I hear this passage, I'm reminded of the song that we sang in church when I was a child. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. The second verse of that song is, Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. We should make that our prayer today, that everywhere we go, God's light will shine in us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, give us the ability to let your light shine in ourselves and our lives so that others may see your love in your grace. Amen. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.